pretty impressive stuff here, Chad Gordy. Thank you. You know why I called you here today in the basement of the Jacksonville Jaguars Stadium? I, I don't. I, I have no idea. The AEW is interested in signing you. You are? That's right. We've seen what you could do. Full two days of training. That's impressive. We're signing everybody. You interested? Where do I sign? It's a paperless company. Let me show you how we do business. So, uh, how do we do this then? Stand up. Right here. Two, three, four, live! That's a two year deal. Chad, you don't have to wear your trunks in business meeting settings. Pack did it. You're not packing. Hey, when you do media, wear this. What's this? Shots and Chops? What's that? Shots and Chops, the hottest wrestling YouTube channel, brother. Shots and Chops Wrestling, I'm Chad, everybody. Taylor. And today we are going to... The biggest news in wrestling right now is the AEW, which stands for All Elite Wrestling. I didn't know. That is the big thing headed up by Cody Rhodes and the Young Bucks and Friends. They are just opening this new wrestling promotion. They are signing everybody in that they can. Chris Jericho, Pac. They just signed uh, Billy Gunn as a producer. So everybody. Hangman every Page, every, that whole click. And, All of them. Yep. Yeah. And uh, much more surprises to come on their May 25th show uh, out there in uh, Vegas. Yeah. Viva yeah. Las Vegas. All in, double or nothing, MSG, not MSG, MGM? MGM. 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 So, that got me and Uncle Taylor thinking that <laughs> what wrestlers from WWE would we like to see in AEW? So, today we're going to do a top 10 list, another feuding top 10 list to see whose list is better. And who do we want to see in AEW from WWE? Perfectly said. Whew. Start off this time, I have my index cards. I wanted to be more professional, and I wanted to cut time. Yeah. Okay? So I don't have to put it in the edits. I don't have to type it out on the computer. Right. I just flip over this card, and I say who it is. Okay. All right? Yep. So my number 10 is KO Kevin Owens. Now, Kevin Owens is a guy that he could he'll he'll be good in the WWE. Yeah. He'll be fine in the WWE. But I think he would even do better over there. He already has a history with the Young Bucks. He's friends with them. He's wrestled with them um, over the years. I just think he would he would do better there and it would shake up his career and he's a family man. So, as far as I know, that's allegedly he's a family man. Family's in Florida. His family's in Florida, exactly. And it's I'm guessing the travel schedule is going to be a lot, lot easier for them. Right. Uh, I like uh, I like the idea. I would really just hate to see Kevin Owens leave the WWE umbrella. Yeah. Uh, there's so much still on on top of potential um, with him there, but AEW could definitely use him. Well, good thing it's my number ten. Yeah. Number nine. I feel like the AEW roster will be built around the medium sized guys, your 205s and everything that ROH has had. So, from the land of giants that is the WWE, I think at uh, 6'5, 275 pounds, Luke Harper would do fantastic there as a uh, monster heel and a great champion one of the ones that you, that you can build the, up the underdog for that championship match and eventually you drop it but Luke Harper AEW title and big guy that can work too guy, oh yeah guy can work uh, friends with Cody yeah. so maybe they've been talking I don't know but Luke Harper yeah Luke Harper didn't even come to my mind, cause I, maybe because I haven't 
seen him in a while. Hey, he's been off TV. Well, it doesn't really make sense for this one, though, because I haven't really seen these guys too much either. But number eight, I have Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder as a tag back as a tag team. They're doing their podcast together where they play with toys or whatever. Yeah, the figure, figures. figure it out. Yes. So I just think, and I always liked them as a tag team when they were the Edge Heads or their Edge Disciples or whatever they were called. Was it Edge Heads? Edge Heads. Yeah. And they look just like Edge. And yeah. So I, they don't have to do that gimmick again, but I would like to just see them again. It would be a cool callback for fans like uh, me and you and the fans would really like it. And they are doing absolutely nothing in the WWE right now, so it wouldn't hurt them. So that's my number eight. You want to show them your number eight? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Edgeheads. I like that. Well, I always liked them when they were on SmackDown. Um, number seven. I'm going to go with a name that no one would have ever put on their top five or top ten list. On going any, on any of them. Any of them. That is no way Jose. Yeah. No, no yeah. Nobody would have. Guy's got the look, build. Uh, I think if you use him as a heel. He'd do much better than the friendly dancing guy that they're using him on Raw. The dude's huge, though. Um, he's decent in the ring. I would change his uh, his move sets a little bit, but uh, I think No Way Jose would do great things in AEW. All right. I don't have much to say about that. The only thing that I think. He's like a WWE homegrown guy, if yeah. I, if I'm correct. So I don't see it happening, but it wouldn't hurt him. No way, Jose, you're right. I would never have thought of that. If I filled out all these index cards, he would not would have been in there. My number six is a lady, uh, Dana Brooke, I think. And again, even though I just kind of... Because she is definitely a WWE homegrown. Very homegrown. Yeah. But she's not doing much in the WWE right now. Um, and I just think she has the potential to do something. I've always thought that. She's strong. She's athletic. She used to win the bodybuilder women's contest all the time. And I, I know she's not the greatest in the ring, but she has gotten better. And I just think the women's division in the WWE right now is competitive and his most stacked it's been ever so I so that I think they're gonna have to uh, the AEW is gonna have to take some talent and I think it's gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be easy but if if there's a spot if a contract's running out for a lady and they're not getting pushed on WWE and AEW is doing good I think we could see a lot of ladies going over there I don't know so. yeah I don't think WWE will be letting go any of the uh women especially with AEW launching right. um, and being able to scoop anybody up uh, Danny Brooks though I, I just WWE could probably release her and she could go over there and I don't think it would hurt WWE right. at all right. so I guess I'm more or less looking out for Dana Brooke because I think she's a pretty lady and this time I wrote it in marker so everybody can see it I, I accidentally almost put Dana Brooks this is what you want to do to her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can I see those real quick? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I could fill out every single one of these cards. <laughs> Dana Brooke would not be on there. Uh, number five. Uh, I'll go. I put a one woman on this list. Okay. Um, WWE's dropped the ball with her. With the new tag team division up and coming, I know they're, they've got a niche for her, but nobody wants to be the third ranked woman or tied if you're in a tag team. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Bailey. I think Bailey is one of those people. I mean, she's ran the Indies before, obviously, coming up to the WWE. Yeah. And I think she could do it better with the name the WWE gave her or the credibility that she has. I think she can go and be the biggest woman star in the indie circuit for AEW. I, I agree. Uh, she's not on my list, but she was very close to being Very close? List. Yeah. I had it to two options for this list. It was either 
your option, Bailey, or my option, Sasha Banks. The re and I know now that she's getting a push and she's getting a title shot at Ronda, but uh, I just it was it was those two because I think they squashed Bailey. They squashed her. She can never. I mean, she could probably prep her, but it's going to take a long time. I picked. Um, it was, it was a coin toss. I just think Sasha could do more over there. She's really athletic. I think she's more athletic than Bailey. Uh, and like I said, I just, I just, I think she fits over there more than, uh, than, I don't know. It's close. It's between her or ba Bailey, who I picked for the top lady they would want from them, who sure. I would want to see, but I just went with Sasha. I want to get on the, uh, comment section here in the Shots and Chop channel and yeah. disagree <laughs> oh, with you. Uh, Sasha Banks is going to be WWE for life. Uh, she's just tied with Snoop Dogg. But not just that. Uh, she can't handle indie fans. There's no way would she tour and go to the smaller arena. She thinks that she is bigger than a lot of promotions, so I don't I don't see it working out. Uh, I don't really see her working out in WWE, WWE though. So eventually she will have to hit the Indies, but I don't see it marketable for her. Right. Like I said, it was a coin toss. I, both of them are good choices, but it was had to be it has to be one of them. Yeah, and I agree with that point that you said. Like, it's a tag team. One of them has to go. Yeah. Number three, I am going. Uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, obviously not doing anything in WWE. Uh, more potential there than they're showing. NXT, he got to show it. Um, he showed it well. Carried the title well. Uh, leaving or being kicked out of NXT was hilarious. He can play that angle. Yeah. But I think he can play a... Just a he can he could probably do a brawler, uh, type guy. I don't know what style really, but there's still more to see from Bo Dallas, and I think the AEW could offer him that niche. I mean, yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Would, would you want him to be as tough man angle, or you want him to be as no? Nice? Yeah, no, a tough guy. I don't want him to run around and. Bo leave. I don't want any of that. I want glove punch. I want to, you know, have him represent his family name. Yeah. E even, like. Yeah, I think he'd be a good fit there. Yeah. The rotundas and the roads go a long way. This is my number two. And I, and, I, and this actually took me a while to come up with this. And when I came up with it, I go, what, you idiot? My number two is the Swiss Superman, Antonio Cesaro. He's been in the WWE forever now. And, and he's gotten pushes. He's been every champion besides the big champion, I think. I don't, maybe not Intercontinental Champion. I can't remember. But he's had the U.S. title. He's had the tag titles on numerous occasions. But... Andre the Giant Memorial. Yeah. And that was the time to push him. And it yeah. didn't happen. And as soon as that was over, I got it. Okay. It's he's never gonna get pushed. He's he came from the Indies. He's a huge Indies guy. He was one of the first huge indie guys to make it in the WWE. Like that I can remember that I watched him on ROH. He teamed up with Chris Hero. They were the like the greatest tag. I can't remember their tag team, but they were together. And Cesaro had long hair, which is that's a weird. <laughs> but anyways, he's the guy to go because he can he can work any kind of style. He can go over there. He's still young enough, strong enough. Uh, like I said, he knows the Indies. I'm sure he's friendly with all those guys. I'm sure he's friendly with the Young Bucks. I don't know about Cody, but I'm sure he is. So it's got to be Cesaro. It's just got to be because he's he's bald. <clears throat> well, uh, I, Cesaro, I'd like to see uh, do bigger and better things. Be another person that I hate to see leave WWE, but... Uh, you gotta go where the pushes take you, and I think uh, my only concern with is he is pound for pound, obviously the strongest guy. And again, you're dealing with those uh, smaller guys. The lower guys. 
he's 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 gonna be way bigger than them. But yeah. Book it. Zaro. Sign him. Number one. Surprise not on your list. Um and I would let and maybe this will give it away a little bit. Um I would like to see this person go into the Hall of Fame first in case uh, he decides to end it with WWE and then go join them and it delays his Hall of Fame much farther than it should be. But I'm going with Cody Rhodes' brother. Oh, I Gold. gotta say Christian. <laughs> no. <laughs> Christian should really be. Did. Yeah, Christian really should be on the list. Uh, but no, Goldust. I think uh, he... And he could go up there and just he could be that veteran to younger guys that AEW might want to build up. Um, he could he could be a good trainer and he could still bring more to the ring. There's still more, not as a Gold Dust character, not as a Seven character, not as a Black Rain right. character. You know, Dusty Road, Dustin Rhodes, yeah. uh, maybe. A bodyguard to his little brother, the vice. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, what's the vice? He, what is he? The. I don't know either, but uh, Cody Rhodes has got that big title, that big job title, and he would just be his. Yeah. He'd be his, uh, yeah, his sponsor. Later, I don't know, you know. Yeah. Beat funny. him up. And that's probably one. That's gonna happen. I think. Yeah, I think. Eventually. I think. After Goldust's career and WWE is done in the books, uh, you will definitely see Goldust pop up there. Yeah. Easy. And that's our list. My five, his five. Whose is better? Comment down below. Or comment who would you like to see from the WWE into the AEW or from anywhere else. Yeah. And don't forget to join us January 27th for the WWE Royal Rumble. Uh, that will be a good time. It will be a good time. It's a shots and chops party. That's right. So we won't be paying too much attention to the comments or to the camera, I don't think. I don't know. We don't know how it's going to go. There will be a lot of characters, um, and hopefully after the Royal Rumble, we will introduce a new segment. Um, so look for that. Yeah, stay tuned for that. And then there's going to be a voiceover coming next, right after this. Uh, do what he says. If you like that video, you can follow us on Facebook at Shots and Chop Wrestling. Remember to like, subscribe, and to chop that notification bell.